So I was putting together the tabs for this week's Patreon video the other night where we're looking at scale sequencing and how to make your scales sound more interesting using different groupings. I was tabbing out a bunch of different fun examples for everyone to try with different groupings and different ideas and I came up with one that I thought was pretty cool and I wanted to share with you guys. So a lot of the time with scale sequences and different groupings, they're typically repeated in the same grouping. Meaning that if you're playing the pentatonic scale in this case in groups of threes, or you could do groups of fours repeating. Even groups of fives. Now those are all great and great technique practices, but they're all repeating the same grouping. And one of the fun examples I came up with the other night was to have the groupings increase each time through the sequence. So what I mean is I'm starting with a group of three, and then I'm going back to the second note of where I started, doing a group of four, then a group of five, group of six, seven, and then eight. But it sounds pretty cool because the groupings are changing each time, so the accent notes are gonna fall differently in the beat every single time. So how I would suggest practicing this is first try to get all of the notes consistent, the exact same speed throughout the entire thing. So it's definitely best to start slow for that. And then once you have the consistency down, then try to use a metronome to slowly increase the speed and kind of see where you plateau at. So I have my metronome set for 70 BPM. And again, I'm gonna do 16th notes, so four notes per beat. As you can see near the end, there's also some serious string skipping going on from the different groupings like the group of seven getting back from the sixth string to the third string to start again. As this gets quicker, that's gonna be more and more challenging to do. So let's go a little faster. Now I have the metronome set for 90. Let's go a little faster now. We're at 105. Let's do 115. It's definitely getting more challenging, but it sounds cool. It sounds really neat with these groupings. Let's do 125. <laughs> that string skipping is getting a little difficult near the end there. Let's try that again. I think it sounds cool with the different groupings, but ultimately it's also a great technique exercise to just challenge your fretting hand and your picking hand. If you are someone who practices their skills typically up and down, that's all your fingers are gonna really get used to doing with that skill. As soon as you add in some sequencing, it's really gonna challenge you if you really know the scale shape and also just keep your fingers thinking throughout the scale a lot more. As I said, it makes your scales sound more interesting when you use them in this style and you're playing instead of just playing them up and down it gives it more of a musical sense. If you're interested in checking out the full lesson video, you can sign up for a free seven day trial on my Patreon page where I post weekly lesson videos like this. And you're always welcome to message me with any questions you have or any advice that you want with your guitar playing. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next video.